So let's move on to question number three. According to the Loanable Funds Framework, if businesses see new opportunities to expand capacity by building new factories, the likely effect will be that A. Interest rates decrease due to, due to an increase in borrowing B. Interest rates decrease due to a greater amount of saving C. There will be no change in interest rates D. The total quantity of borrowing and lending will fall or E. None of the above Now let's take a look at let's review the answer choices. So interest so A interest rates decrease due to an increase in borrowing. B interest rates decrease due to a greater amount of saving. Or C there will be no change in interest rates. Now let me explain each of the answers. Now C is incorrect because since there are new there are more businesses finding more opportunities there will be more businesses demanding more loans now with more loans there will be a change in interest rates so C is incorrect now we can also find that A and B are incorrect because we know that an increase in the demand for loans will increase the interest rates because banks have more buyers than they have available loans. So in order to combat this high demand of buyers, or in this case, businesses that want to borrow those loans, they have to increase the interest rates. So A and B are incorrect. Now D, the total, qu now D, the total quantity of borrowing and lending will fall uh, this is also incorrect because since the demand for loans has increased, more loans will be borrowed. So the actual, the, if this was, if, if D wanted to be a correct answer, it would be the total quant quantity of borrowing and lending will rise since more businesses see the opportunity to expand by building new factories. So they want to borrow more loans. However, like I said, the interest rate, because there's so many businesses that are borrowing, then the interest rates will also rise. So the correct answer is E, none of the above. Now this is the correct answer because none of the other answer choices satisfies the elements of an increase of a change in the loanable funds market of a uh, higher demand in loans. Therefore, E, none of the above, is correct.